everyone. Um, this is Dickie Rowland and today I have a layout to share for Lottie Loves Paper. I'm lucky enough to be working with the very beautiful Happy Heart collection by Pink Fresh Studio uh, for my most recent um, DT pack. So um, it's a really beautiful collection. If you haven't checked it out in the shop, then do so. I did do an unboxing video of when I received the collection. So take a look at that if you, have, um, if you want to see it in more detail. Um, but I've chosen to work with this really pretty floral background. It's one of my favorite papers in the collection. What, Almost all of them are my favourite. I love them. They're all so lovely. But I love this one. I just love the pink background with the pretty kind of sketchy flowers all over it. Um, so I wanted to make that a feature because it is so pretty. So I've gone for a sheet of white cardstock and I've cut the um, paper down quite a bit. I've cut it down to about, um, I think it's more than uh, smaller than 11 inches. Let me just check it. It is, um, I've cut it down to 10 inches square, so that gives me an inch border all the way around um, the uh, the edge. I've distressed the edges, as you can see, and um, uh, roughed them up a bit as well. I'm also going to um, stick that centrally and add that um, with add some machine stitching around the edge too. Um, I'm also using a cut file by Pedri Cut Files. It's um, the word happy, and it has beautiful flowers um, top and bottom. So just really loved it. I've backed it already um, off camera um, using vellum um, because, you know, I love these phrases so much, but to have different multiple colours within the letters would have... Um, would have not worked with my busy background. So I think you would either need to have one or the other. So I went for a plain... Um, I went for a plain vellum uh, in order to um, back the cut file letters. Um, and I say, I just drew, I did that man, oh, I don't think I did, I can't remember if I did it manually or not now. Um, sometimes I um, cut, thing, cut the letters out on my um, silhouette or sometimes I, I just do it manually by drawing around the cut file with a pencil and then cutting out with scissors. Um, I think I did this on my silhouette, um, I think. <laughs> I can't remember, it was a few weeks ago that I made the layout now. <laughs> Um, so I just backed the letters, not the flowers as well. Um, so the pretty um, colours from the background shines through the flowers, but not so much through the letters. You can see it a little bit, or you can see through the letters a little bit because it is vellum, so therefore it is kind of see-through. Um, I'm not sticking my foam pads um, onto the backs of the letters because you would definitely see those. Um, so I'm trying to be careful about my foam pad placement because I do want it to sit up. Um, and at the moment, I'm toying with the idea of whether I put the blue strip of paper behind the word or not. So I think either way, it would have been fine. Um, but using, uh, I just, I hate wasting papers. I, I think it's, it stems from many years ago when I used to keep every tiny little scrap um, and try and get as much out of every sheet of paper as I possibly could. And, and even though now I have so much paper, um, I definitely don't need to keep scraps. Um, there's part of me that always thinks, oh, well, I have that off cut. I'm, I'm going to use it. <laughs> I must see if I can use that somehow. Um, so there you go. That is an off cut from the, um, when I cut the paper down to 10 by 10. Um, and um, I, I used the blue side and I wasn't sure about introducing the blue because there's very little blue in the pattern paper that I've used, the pink one with the flowers. There's a very tiny a bit here and there. It's, it's, a very, it's a very tiny bit though. A few of the flowers are blue, but a very tiny amount. Um, but um, I liked it. I liked how it looked. Um, and, and of course, then it made me happy because I wasn't wasting <laughs> the paper. Um, so I put that um, behind the word happy. Um, and um, I haven't stitched through that or anything. I've just distressed the edges and stuck that flat. And then I've got the word happy um, raised up on foam pads sitting on top of it. So now I want to, um, I wanted to add to my floral clusters. Um, the floral cluster is obviously part of the cut file, but I wanted to try and add some of the, um, ephemera, the floral, I love floral ephemera, um, and the pink fresh happy heart floral ephemera, um, I wanted to add to those, um, flower clusters. However, every time I added some flowers on top or behind, just didn't look right. And I think that's because I have a busy background. Um, so because I have the flowers in the background, um, adding the floral ephemera to the cut file as well, just they just didn't stand out. They just they just hadn't got any impact. They just looked wrong. Um, so therefore, I decided not to um, embellish those um, clusters with floral ephemera. Um, again, the floral ephemera would have looked beautiful had this cut file been on a white background um but because I've got the floral background it just it just didn't they just got lost 
So, um, so yeah, so I opted to um, make a small cluster around my photo instead. So I have a photo of my little girl at, uh, or actually we're at Disney World, and she's got a big Mickey Mouse um, shortbread biscuit with his ears dipped in chocolate. It looks amazing. I could really do with one of those right now. Um, <laughs> and uh, that obviously goes very well with the word happy because nothing makes children happier than food. You know, that we can be at Disney World, we can be, uh, you know, at Legoland or the best place on earth. And what are they most happy about? The food. Um, so <laughs> to have that uh, treat definitely made her happy. Um, so, um, so, yeah. Anyway, going back to the floral ephemera, um, instead of using the floral ephemera on the flower clusters, I decided to create two other areas where I could use the, the flowers and they wouldn't look lost against the background. So what I did was I just rough, Roughed up, the, roughed up the edges even more, pushed in at two points um, that you can see there, bottom right and top left on the border. And then I tucked my floral ephemera into the um, background paper. And of course, they're now sitting against the white background. So they show up so much better and they don't get lost in the pattern beneath. Um, so that was the perfect solution, really, to be able to use some of that beautiful floral ephemera um, while still using a busy floral pattern paper background. So um, I got there in the end. It took me a little while to figure that out, but uh, I definitely got there in the end. <laughs> um, okay, so adding a few phrase stickers now. I've got, love this day, just lovely, you are my fave, fave, fav. <laughs> I'm not quite sure how you say it. Um, so it means favorite anyway. Um, lots of people, um, I've heard discussions about they can't use um, a phrase that says you are my favorite about one of their children um, on a layout and I totally respect that I understand that um, however I don't feel that way about it because I say all my children are my favorite so I can use the words I you are my favorite on a layout about any child or all of them um, and, uh, and not feel guilty about it because if they ever ask me about it I say you're all my favorite and then I tell them why they're my favorite for whatever reason. So Sophie's my favorite because she's a girl and she likes pink and she's just lovely. And Max is my favorite because he loves Lego and he's brilliant at maths. And Theo is my favorite because he's super cute and he's the littlest. Um, and uh, you know, I, I, I give them reasons. Um, <laughs> and he's a joker as well, a little one. Um, so I give them reasons of why they're my, each of them are my favorite so that they don't ever feel that they're not the favorite, if that makes sense, yeah? So anyway, that's my view on that. Um, so, okay, layout pretty much finished. I've added one of those lovely um, uh, wooden uh, em embellishments and um, a puffy sticker as well that says Happy Heart. I've added some butterfly ephemera um, and I finished off with some white paint splatters. And that is my layout complete. So I hope you like the first layout that I've made with the Happy Heart collection. Um, I think it's really pretty and it was really fun to make such a pretty layout. I've been making lots of boy things lately and... Uh, Pretty Flowers was just the tonic. Okay, so thank you so much for watching me today. That was Nikki Rowland for Lottie Loves Paper using Pinkfresh Studio. Happy heart.